here. I think I want to show off on the guitar a little bit, that's all right. Is that okay? It's going to have to be a bit on here. You see, uh, we get asked a lot about uh, our sound and what we do to... And basically what this is, at its heart, at its core, the music that, uh, that I play, at least on the guitar, is, is it's finger-style country blues is what it is. It's the earliest style of blues. And uh, most people are kind of unfamiliar with it, even though it really birthed almost every single genre of American music one way or another. And uh, every genre, from bluegrass to, to rock and roll, even jazz borrows a lot from the from early country blues. And people are ignorant of what it really is. But uh, the earliest style of playing guitar in this way, you play the bass with your thumb and the lead with your fingers at the same time. And it's a dying art, it's dying, it's going like the way of like the narwhal and the manatee. And uh, one of the main reasons I think it is because it's hard. It's hard to do this. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna give you a little demonstration so you can understand exactly what is happening up here. So your ears can kind of decipher it a little bit. So basically, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just give you a very simple, like, very simple, it's core. My thumb plays the bass, and my fingers play the lead, right? So when my thumb's doing this, my fingers do something like this. Something like that. Something like maybe this. Something like that. But... What I want to do first, though, before I really, really get into it, is I want to try something. Do you, do you know the song Yankee Doodle? Yeah. I said, do you know the song Yankee Doodle? Yeah. Wait, uh, now, do you know the old song Dixie? Yeah. Do you know the old song Dixie? Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play Yankee Doodle and Dixie. But the, the trick is, I'm going to play them both at the same time. So my thumb's going to play Yankee Doodle, my finger's going to pick Dixie. So your ears can kind of understand what's happening. Yankee Doodle's going to sound like this. Wait. That's, that's going to be Yankee Doodle. Dixie's going to start off like this. So it's like my finger's going to pick that up. Now, here we go. Oh, and in case you're wondering, to so this thing's standard tune. E chord. C, D, G, A, B, F, F sharp. Regular old six string guitar. There's no octave pedals. There's no loop pedals. There's no iPod, no laptop computer. It is a $300 guitar plugged into speakers. That's all this is. Nothing special about it. This thing was cheap when they made it in 1955, and it's even cheaper today. So here we go. Yankee Doodle Dixie. Here we go. the songs. Have you ever heard a terrible, a terrible ass blues band play this song right here? You have, haven't you? The worst blues bands on planet earth play this song. Unless you're in one of them, I don't mean you. Now the reason why blues bands play this is because they use 20 seconds of it in the Blues Brothers movie. The Blues Brothers never even played the damn song. They played 20 seconds of it in the background of the movie. So like that, like, I guess that means that like they can play that song. Uh, but people that are of a certain generation might remember it from a television show in about 1955 or 56 called Peter Gunn. It's the theme to Peter Gunn. That's why it was written. That's what it's called. If you are of a younger generation, you might remember it as the theme song to Spy Hunter, a video game from the 90s. That's what most times people yell out, Spy Hunter! Well, that's the bass line. That's usually what the bass player plays, right? And then the lead guitar player plays the lead part. Do you remember how the lead part goes? What I'm going to do is I'm going to play both the bass and the lead to the theme of Peter Gunn. So whenever you see a terrible-ass blues band do this song, it'll even be twice as bad now. So here we go. <laughs> 